Hello everyone, this is Ram Govindasamy, MEO First Class Engineer from Diesel Ship. Today's topic is about hot well tank or a cascade tank which is used in boiler feed system. This is where the boiler feed pumps take water from. Right, and also the steam condensate returns to. So this is a place uh, where it all happens. Is a starting point of a feed system. Uh, okay, the, the red line you see here depicts the outer layer of a cascade tank. And the green line here, I have shown it in a different color because this is the internal of the tank where the cascading process happens. See, this is what is called a cascading process. Why do we need a cascading process? Is because we have to separate oil and other impurities that may come from dirty condensate. Why do I call it dirty condensate? Do they readily have any dirt in them? Not really, but the users or fuel heaters, lube oil heaters, purifier heaters, cargo heaters, sludge heaters, such heaters, if leaking or if the heating coils leak or if there is any damage to the sealing arrangements such as the gaskets or O-rings, may pass, may contaminate the oil and other dirts into the condensate system and that has to be separated. This is the reason why you see the clean condensate and the dirty condensate is treated separately. You can see the dirty condensate comes to an observation tank whereas all the clean condensate come directly into the main chamber which is the hot well. As, as I mentioned the dirty condensate may have dirt and that requires to be separated and how do we separate it in a hot well is using a cascade process and that is why it is called a cascade tank as well. Right, all dirty condensates from different uses come in manifolds into one line that is the condensate main, dirty condensate main, this is the line which is installed with a oil sensor which is of a capacitance type and why did I mention it is a capacitance type, I will mention it, I will explain it a little later. Right, if there is any oil present in this manifold, this oil sensor triggers the three-way valve to open to the bilge instead of going to the observation tank or the hot well. So that is the main function and uh, there is also another oil sensor here which is in the observation tank itself. If there is any oil sense there that will also trigger the three-way valve to open. And in, in most of the systems even the dump condenser has a three-way valve where because the dump condenser is cooled by seawater so there may be a seawater contamination but there it is a salinometer, it is a salinity meter that controls the three-way valve. Either put it, into, put it to the hot well or dump it to the bilge well which I have not shown here but uh, this is how it is. Right. So as we see the condensate, the dirty condensate comes to observation tank which is the first stage of a hot well for dirty condensate. What is in an observation tank? Observation tank, as I mentioned, mentioned, has a oil sensor, a manhole to open and to inspect the oil sensor and to clean the side glass. There is a side glass here. It is always a best watchkeeping practice for a watchkeeper to watch the side glass as he passes by or as a, as a regular routine to see the content of the top layer. If there is any oil, the oil will definitely float on the top surface which will be cleanly seen. And there is also a light provided here, which is always on. So the watchkeeping engineer or anybody who is passing through the engine room or near the hot well can see if there is any oil present on this one. How do we remove oil? If there is any contamination, the only way we can remove is through the skimming line. It is a funneled mouth pointing upwards because the oil always stays on top. So the top layer can be skimmed using the skimming valve. To skim, we open this valve which then it will start draining the content from the top. So it is kind of, you know, removes the oil, not the water. So that is the use of skimming line. How do we transfer the oil to the next chamber, which is settling chamber is through an overflow line. It has to go from bottom because the top part will be oil and the bottom should be water. I've shown oil so much, but just in case, otherwise it is usually not so much of oil. Right. The next thing, the next chamber is a settling chamber which is here by construction by design the settling chamber is separated from rest of the other compartments uh, I mean restricted fluid movements because the natural separation has to happen so it is called the settling chamber 
from settling chamber the dirt stays down the heavy impurities and the oil stays on top and then it overflows into the next chamber which is a filtration chamber here there is a oleophilic grid used oleophilic means it has greater affinity towards oil it is afraid of water so it accumulates i mean it collects oil it, like i said it has a great affinity towards uh, oil so the oil gets accumulated on these grids this in, in, in the diagram you, have, you see one but in the next 2d view you will see four or five grids so the water has to pass through the oleophilic grid into the filtration th chamber through oleophilic strainer again this strainer material is made of oleophilic nature and this strainer is a fine mesh filter where the dirts get accumulated slowly it's a filtration thing and the manhole here is used to inspect the grid and to remove for washing or cleaning so the manholes are given frequently the watch keeping engineers must open and check the condition of the grid and the strainer finally the contents through the strainer passes to the final stage of cascading process into the hot well chamber hot well main chamber where it mixes with the clean condensate by the cascading process it should have been already clean right the next slide is going to be the internals the green lines you see here are exploded into a 2d uh, drawing where you'll be able to see the cascading process in detail and the next slide after that is going to be an animation to show you all how does the hot well work and finally i will show you how does the filling work hot well filling and we'll end the in the video let's quickly move on to the next slide the next slide here you see is the internals as i said the observation chamber is here from here the content overflows from here it overflows through this grids oleophilic grids where the oil gets accumulated and water passes through and also it kind of prevents solid impurities and then this goes into strainer which is a oleophilic nature again and also filters fine particles and then the finally the water gets into the hot well this is the simple schematic of of uh, the internals that we discussed earlier let's get into the next slide the next slide is about the animation let let me start the quickly let me start the animation you see the blue shape the dirty condensate passes through the three way valve there is let us assume there is no oil it comes into the observation tank observation tank gets filled up due to gravity the water flows into next chamber which is a settling chamber from here it passes through the grids and then goes into oleophilic strainer from here it fills up the filtration compartment filtration chamber and then the water will overflow into the main chamber which is the hot well itself these are the clean condensate dump condensate written dump condenser written pools written galley written and they've operated in the next slide we'll see how the hot well filling works this is an animation okay here i want you all remember that hot well filling is done through float these two floats you see here these two floats you see here they are not the level floats these are all start filling stop filling why is it so critical here you all see the water level has to be maintained here it should not pass on to the next stage you should not fill all the way to the top the overflow will be provisioned here actually the overflow of the hot well will be provisioned at this site because we don't want the water to fill up and spoil or affect the cascading process so the, the level maximum is maintained up to this uh, this level so that it does not affect the cascading process so let 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 me let me simulate uh, the, the water level dropping let me start the pump let me delete this red line okay let me start okay the pump is already running let's see let's simulate the water level drops the float drops down so now it triggers the hot well filling valve to open and the hot well filling starts to fill up now the level starts coming up to this safe level and now the float will tell the hot well filling to stop filling that's it so the significance why did i show you this uh, filling separately is that you should always remember the level has to be maintained only till here this is usually asked in your exams 
your competency exams be it class 4 or class 2 or even class 1 so you should be aware uh, that's it friends uh, I, I hope i made some sense and it was a useful video uh, i'm always open for suggestions corrections and if i have made some errors please do post or please do comment uh, please do watch diesel ship channel or diesel ship website for more, more such video and information and if you have any better information please do share i appreciate your time see you all in next video thank you